Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. This is video number four. So if you missed any of the previous videos, feel free to check out the description. I'm going to make sure I link the playlist so you can watch it from the beginning. But we're starting this episode off with exactly 4,500 points. And we just unlocked ourselves tier five relic. Now I'm going to start today off by just skilling because I no longer have eight times XP rate. I now have 12 times XP rate, as you can see here, which is the bonus that you get from the tier Tier 5 relics. So we are going for some nice skilling grinds right now. A couple of things that I have in mind is 99 Hunter, perhaps 91 Thieving is a nice amount of points as well. Just a bunch of skilling is what I plan on doing today, but obviously my plans tend to always change around. Anyways, I do hope you will enjoy. Let's get right into it. Just got 73 Hunter, which means the Bodhi number brings us straight to Black Chin Chompas. Let's get right there in the wilderness and well, we have to catch at least a thousand, but I honestly think I'll stay there all the way till 99. Been getting eight ton of harvesting uh, fragments and we are so close to having Ching Chunkers maxed out. We are now 80 uh, Hunter and we can place one more trap. So now I'm actually gonna reset my timer right here so I can see what kind of XP per hour I can look at with six traps. It appears that I'm getting about 2.7 million XP an hour so pretty insane. Also I get more fragments this time around. Message in a bottle improvement. Now my Arcane Conduit is level 3. Here is my Arcane Conduit also maxed out and this time we save 9 90% of the runes that we use. But he's using like both or something. What the hell? Oh, mercy, brother man. Okay, well, I have to try and tank it somehow. Rip my chins, rip my box trap. What the hell? Man, my chins, I have so many. Yeah, there's no way I tank this. Rip my chins, I guess. Yeah, good fight, fair play. It is what it is, I'm gonna go right back. So one more, I think, is all we need. Let's see. Yeah, one more and we will have the tier three chunkers. I just evolved my golden brick road all the way to level three. So if I ever train agility, I should be making nice amount of money there now. Uh, I also keep getting attacked which is a bit annoying this time a guy in dragon scimitar decided to smack my ass around a little bit there it is onto the big 90 hunter and this is a lot of points one to five first level 90 there it is chin chonkers is now level three and now look at this every time i catch it two chins this is gonna speed things up by a lot and now i really wonder let's take a look so i finished my chin chonkers and i got another harvesting one what is it gonna give me congratulations all hunter fragments have reached their maximum level you will no longer receive this type of skilling fragment well, I guess Hunter basically completed at level 91. That's uh, interesting information. Ooh, I just got a fragment and I unlocked my new one, Barbarian Pest Wars. Barbarian Assault Points, Pest Control Points, and Soul Zeal are boosted by 100%, 200%, 300%. Ended up getting 95 Hunter, over 1000 is what I needed, and uh, the, luckily I ended up getting quite a lot of points again. Well, the benefits of playing the game at 5am is the fact that you don't get killed and you get 99 Hunter, just like that. Let's go ahead and unlock something in important. First of all, Dorgishan. All of these quests are going to be auto-completed. Let's go ahead and unlock it. I know it's a bit expensive. Boom, bada beam, no turning back right now. I get some points back straight away by just equipping this, so that's 25 there. Well, that took almost no time at all, and I got a bunch of junk to come with it. That's another task. So you see, basically I get a full-on return on the points I just spent. Got a diamond. Yep, didn't take me too long at all. Beautiful, easy task right there. Slight change in my fragments. While I'm training my range, I'm gonna make sure I activate the double tap. So when I'm training range, I'm sometimes going to see a double hit. I'm also using an unholy ranger, so I'm gonna lower my prayer to zero. Now that we are 40 ranged, I can also equip green dehyde, vamps, and chaps. Now there's a task to equip full green dehyde, but I don't have dragon slayer done just yet. I time to AFK. There it is, 55 range. Quick little oak shortbow. That's the first one. Let's see what we got from this one. It has the jeweler. Not bad. There was a task to smith 150 of these. I didn't even know. That is 150 iron arrows. Thank you very much. Now we do a willow shortbow. And we only need two more points. There is 41 mining. It immediately worked. That's kind of weird, but there we go. We mine some more with a rune pickaxe. Let's just go ahead and unlock. It is quite a hefty price to pay, but I'm willing to pay it, and Monkey Madness 2 is now unlocked. And just to show you how OP chinning is, this is my rank before chinning. 143 rank when it comes to total level. League points, I'm rank 165. And I'm just gonna utilize this starting location for the time being. And you can utilize any corner spots like that to stack them together. I like to have right click on like that, so I only attack them when 
when I really want them to. I stack them all together and then I right click attack. And this is how it's gonna look like. Oh man, the XP is beautiful. We just got 60 range, meaning that I can now wear the red spiky van braces as well. And there is 65 range, which is what we wanted. Now we can take a look at the combat relic. Bottomless quiver. That is a very convenient one actually for range. I'm getting an absolutely ridiculous amount of combat fragments. Super excited to be using those and honestly just farm a bunch of them. All the way to 77 with just 220 chins and now it's time for me to quickly loot all these prayer potions and go to bank. Let's see what kind of fragment unlocks we got. First off, unholy wizard. That's a new one. We'll take a look at what it is. Secondly, bottomless quiver upgrade. Thirdly, bottomless quiver upgrade again. And fourthly, unholy warrior. So once again, zero prayer points and you get accuracy increase and I assume for the major is a completely same thing. Unholy wizard. Yeah, same thing. Basically accuracy increase when you have zero prayer. Nice. I just realized what a big fuck up I did. I never equipped all my chins. Oh, thank fuck I still had that much over. Look at the amount of tasks. I genuinely forgot to equip all my chins. Oi, oi, oi. That would have been horrible. Uh, but yeah, I still equipped over a thousand, which is what you need to do. <laughs> How did I not realize that? We're good, we're good. I did it, luckily. Don't mind me, just getting 13 million range XP per hour with 70 range. Not at all a bad trip. Let's take a look what kind of fragments we got from this man. These monkeys are OP, both in deadman mode, both here. We're already up to 87 range, and let's see what we get. Unholy Warrior upgrade, Unholy Wizard upgrade, Venom Master, that's a brand new one. Let's take a look at what it does really quickly. Venom Master, it's probably something to prevent Venom, I would assume. Um, Apply poison and poison immunity. Your attacks have a chance to inflict poison, but also on level 2 we are immune to being poisoned, and on level 3 we're immune to being venomed. So pretty good for stuff like Zolra, I would assume. And we still have a couple extra. Unholy Warrior upgrade, Unholy Wizard, Warrior, Message in a Bottle, another Venom Master, Venom Master, Ranger, and Slay and Pay. Okay, let's get right back into it. Oh my god, I got it as a drop. Instantly went to right click and pick it up, and it just disappears. And that has happened to so many of them. Holy what? Gemflex, please fix your game, bro. Straight up, like, what is this? Hey, Rogue's Chompy Farm is now fragment level 2. <laughs> it just don't exist. Okay, I give up. They just stay and don't exist anymore, I guess. I don't know what I've done. They just don't exist. They just disappear right in front of me every time. One more time. What do we got? Unholy Ranger, Slay and Pay. Unholy Warrior to level 2. Unholy Ranger. Unholy Wizard. Venom Master. And Venom Master to level 2. Nice. I must have lost, like, I would honestly say probably over... 10 of them just disappearing, so a little bit unlucky there, but last trip right now with the last 400 chins, let's get right at it. Bro, this has been so fun, by the way, and we're up to 92 range already. Ladies and gentlemen, chins are no more, okay? Everybody ready from rank 177 to rank... 94, so top 100 just from that little chinning situation. Let's open all these combat uh, ones. Unholy Wizard now level 2. Warrior, Slay and Pay, Venom Master. Bottomless Quiver is now level 2 as well, pretty solid. Unholy Ranger up and Unholy Wizard up as well. Beautiful stuff. Okay, how much do I need in order to unlock Desert Treasure? I only need to find 9 points. I'm sure I can find a way to do that somehow. So we gotta get a couple of Sages Renown. And the very simple task right here is to first of all, steal a bird from Matthias. After that, you want to be catching some dashing cabbits. These ones, the light ones. And then when you have two of those, you can go to Varrock and in the clothing shop, you should be able to create a spottier cape. Well, I accidentally made the spotted one and the spottier one, but there it is. Two Sages Renown getting super close. There is smelting an iron bar very quickly. Making a steel bar is a quick one for two points. And now we're just so damn close. So let's just quickly grab a sapphire from our bank and a chisel. And that should be another quick task. Well, and there it is. I just had to tan some hides. And honestly, I can create this leather body as well. And that is another task. We have enough Sages Renown right now to unlock this Desert 2. Which is obviously going to be Desert Treasure completion. So let me just go ahead and unlock it. Back to one Sages Renown. But most importantly, we have an ability to utilize the Ancient Magics. And there's a ton of points that I can get on that spellbook. But first, let's get Thieving. I just got a brand new fragment. And it's called Mother's Magic fossils. Uh, let's take a look at what this one does. The chance of obtaining fossils on Fossil Island and Motherlode Mine gold nuggets are increased by 100%. Mage training arena points received are increased by 100%. Quickly enter the Wizard's Guild. That's a couple of tasks. If I buy the cheapest piece of Mystic right here, for example boots, uh, that's gonna also be a task. And now I have to prepare my runes. I am so broke. I might have to go thieve a little bit more, to be honest. Uh, because I wanna go barraging slash bursting, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, 
that is an absolute disaster. Apparently, I have to complete hand in the sand to use this guild shop. What is this scam? How much can I alg this for? 6k? Yeah, that's a, that's a good deal. Well, I might just have to take it and do my magic training manually simply because I'm so low on money and I have to buy death runes and they are fairly expensive, but it's all gonna be worth it at the end, I believe. And now that we have ancient magics, we can first off teleport to Padava, then we can use Ice Rush on someone for just free points. But now I'm actually going to go ahead and just straight up train on the monkeys and I'll worry about these late ones when I get to them, especially since I unfortunately do not have a way to get like soul runes right now or blood runes but i'll worry about points in the future video well then let's see if i'm going to regret the fact that i didn't get an ancient staff and spend a little bit extra time thieving because i'm gonna have to manually click every single spell cast and i think i might regret it soon however this is one of the last things i want to do today and uh we'll just see how it goes honestly honestly not too bad I don't mind clicking, we should be good to go. And there it is, now we can cast Ice Burst and this is where the XP is gonna start coming in very very beautifully. I actually didn't take the fragment that keeps my runes, so I noticed that my runes just disappeared extremely quickly. Uh, but there it is, a bunch of fragments, uh, I'm gonna end it here for this video. Um, these are the stats at the ending of this episode and these are the leak points. But yeah, as always, I really do hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let's quickly open all of these, but first, I'm gonna actually bang all of my fragments because I think that it prioritizes the, the ones that you have equipped. So if I quickly go to the bank and just unequip all of these and now open all of these, I genuinely have no idea what we're gonna get, but let's just see. So we get Bottomless Quiver, Unholy Warrior, Bottomless Quiver, Slay and Pray to level 2, Unholy Ranger, Enchanted Jeweler, Slay and Pay, Venom Master, no, those are the same, but the skilling ones, these ones could be could be something new now enchanted jeweler unlucky more combat more venom master more combat another skilling one and we got another enchanted jeweler and that is pretty much all i have for you guys anyways i really do hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave me a like and i'll see you again very soon with another video have a good one and bye bye